Um, it was a lesson in history, you know, on the larger scale. You know, be a friend. He taught me things about the war that maybe I hadn't known because those things hadn't been told to me. Or maybe I sort of knew on a subconscious level but hadn't really explored by asking questions because they weren't readily available. Um, so it was really good in that way, lesson in history. But then on a smaller scale, as far as the characters themselves, I often say that life is beautiful and the book really exemplified why I say that. You know all these big things are happening, there's war and there's catastrophe and the world is crashing and then regular people are cheating on their boyfriends, you know. Um, a woman is fighting with her son's girlfriend, you know. A houseboy is, he has stolen something, he's having sex with the other girl next door, you know it's these really small things embedded in this large thing or this really large thing embedded in these small things and I really like that about it. I think maybe she was not so much objecting to the fact that she's from that that she was living with her son but objective the fact that she has a different culture. Yes. She's from the city. Yeah. So it may not be the actual living and sexuality that comes with, you know, relationships yeah. in the 60s, but because Olana is a woman that has never sucked her mother's breasts. Yes. Olana that, is that, a woman that has too much universe. And, and I'm sure yeah, like all, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Part, all the feminists, when they read that portion, I'm like, ah! Oh. Yeah. Yeah. She has too much university education that it has corrupted her mind. Yeah, it says. And I was like, wow. And on top of that, her parents sent her to university. Why? <laughs> Why? Too much school ruins a woman. Yeah, exactly. Everyone knows that. <laughs> I'm like, everyone knows really? that. Really? Yeah, so there's this <laughs> sort of dichotomy, right? Um, Yeah. He who brings the color not brings life. Yes. You and yours will live, and I and mine will live. Let the eagle perch, and let the dove perch. And if either decrees that the other not perch, it will not be well for him. May God bless this color not in Jesus' name. So I've always wondered about that. I've always wondered if the color not, right, the, the kind of significance that it has in Nigeria, if that's replicated Just, elsewhere. Does. So yeah, in Ghana, yeah. it's the same thing. Yeah. And in Liberia, right? I think it's, uh, it's libation of a little bit uh, the wine. Yes. You know, as, 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 as wine. Exactly. Yes. 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 Yeah, and this is one of the, the most beautiful things to me, right, about the, the, the culture, that you go through this very, very formal mm -hmm. process. You know, when people visit you, you bring out a culinary and you say this, right? It's not something that here, you know, someone comes, hey, do you want some water? Do you want a drink? <laughs> right? It's, it's not something where you go through a formal process of welcoming them into your home. Mm -hmm. Right? And so that, that's one of the things that I was very happy that she brought this up. And, and I'm glad to, to hear now that it's a similar thing in Ghana. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering if there are other countries in Africa where this is sort of the same. And if it's not a call or not, what is it, mm -hmm. right, that Symbolic. has that symbolism, that significance of welcoming someone into your home. The culture, the evil culture itself, I, I think I understood evil people more, like reading After, the book. Yeah, really yeah. like, it's like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> and also they had gone through a lot, yes. seriously. And yeah. you know, they, they, they went through a lot. Some people were around a house after they didn't even know what was going on. Yes. You know, and for you guys to go through that and still come out of that and still unite. Even Absolutely. with the people that yeah. like, you know, right. that was, that was like, it showed strength to yeah. me. It showed strength, it made me appreciate the Igbo people more. It made me appreciate the people, maybe not just only this generation, but the people that I think fought the war, like the grandfather, like even yeah. Shinya Chiba himself, you know, he, after everyone writes in the book, there was a country, I, I looked at him with different ways, like, yeah. wow. wow. Yeah. How can you have gone through all this? Although I still think that it should be a rubber version, but you know, <laughs> how, how can you have gone through all this and still, and still be so successful, you know. This, right. like, I guess this thing's built strength. Yeah. This kind of, this kind of tough situation built strength. So, 
It's just how strong Igbo culture is. And I think I've noticed that you know, I think Igbo men love their mom so much and I think I now understand why that's Oh yeah. <laughs>